Welcome to Lakeshore RV and welcome to your torque fifth wheel. Coming up front to your torque under here, you have a pre made spot for a generator. You have your battery over here, you have your panel, which you activate by holding the up and down button at the same time for three seconds. You can hit the auto level button here. Hitch height hitch height is when your camper goes back to where you hit auto level. So the idea is that you get it off your truck with the up and down buttons here, pull out, hit auto level and camp. When you're done camping, you hit hitch height and it should go back to where you unhooked. And then retract all, obviously retracts all. Here's an on and off button for the front cap lights. Coming around to the side here, you have a compartment for your propane, your main leveling system. Right across through there, you have your battery shelf. Out here you have your water selector valve. You have a city fixture where your hose would hook up here and draw from the city water. The dry camping where you would run from the tank inside. This here is where you would fill your tank and down there would be winterized. Outside shower, black tank flush, cable and satellite hookups along with another power outlet. Your termination valves in there. Exterior shower, well, exterior furnace, water heater, we're going to slide out over there. The gray tank termination valve, fuel shutoff system, auxiliary pump. You're around your back, your back patio gate. Back door, exterior speakers, of course. Spare tire, low point valves. Our starter kit. We also have our battery shut off and our water heater bypass. Thing of note up here is our propane regulator, which you select which side you want to draw propane from by that switch on top there. Along inside, we come up to our camper. Let's open the floor plan. All right, right here we have our monitor panel, which you would press battery to get the gauge of that. Fresh water, black, gray, gray two. Your water heater on off, water pump, electric water heater, on off switches for lights. Our slide out button here, slide out rooms here. Awning button, on off for the wind guard system. Our fan button, over here is our microwave. Here's our stove, our stove operates much like an outside grill. It's where you turn it to flame and then spark it to start. Same thing with the oven. Got our keys there around the sink. It's our stereo system. Back door to our steps, our other part of our sectional, which is in our travel mode. Our power cord, our back gate. These operate over here. We have our back rear awning button here. And then our bunk here, which rides up and down on this. In order to remove the top bunk, you can see a pin there. It's in all four corners, there's a pin. You would remove it, and that bunk would ride down on the other. On off switches for back here. I have a fan. Raise and lower there, of course. Coming on into here, we have our 12 volt fridge, which will open. You have an on off button there and a setting button. And then in the freezer, you have your temperature. Here we have our thermostat. Our thermostat operates as such. You turn it to the first mode button and that's your fan, which can go high, low, and auto. You want it to be on auto. You have your AC setting and your furnace setting. And then off, of course. And we have our bathroom. Here's our bed adjuster here, which is up, down, small hip. Hint here, if you don't leave the bed into the up, if you don't put the bed back into the up position, this slide will not want to close. You have a pull here, which you could mount a TV. And of course a button, um, probably the other side for the up down of the motor. Yep, up down of the motor inside. Here's a front bedroom AC. Bathroom. All right, if you have any questions or concerns, you can talk to your, you can give your salesperson a call or call the store at 788-2040. Thank you.